After listening to all that beautiful music and seeing these fantastic dancers, we were off to explore Haifeng Street and Hu Shui Yan Mansion. Here's the map of the pathway we took throughout the day. To start our day, we were in search of some breakfast and stopped off at this really neat eatery, hoping to find an mm, omelet, pancakes, anything that looked Western, but no such luck. So we settled on some cooked eggplant. That's a first for me for breakfast. But it sure beats fried crab or these eggs that were raw being cooked with shrimp. After that delicious breakfast, we were off to Haifeng Street. It's the most famous and only well-preserved ancient street in Hangzhou. It actually represents the old story and showcases the folk culture of Hangzhou. The cobbled street is lined with many time-honored stores from which you get a better understanding of ancient Hangzhou and ancient China. As you can see, there are some really interesting and funky things to try walking down the street. Zhangpo pork is a famous Hangzhou dish named after a revered poet in the Song Dynasty who inspired this dish. It's a slab of pork belly cut into squares, half fat and half lean meat. There's a lot of fat. It screams greasy, but after being cooked for a couple of hours before serving, they do say you get the fat without much of the greasiness. our visit to the residence of Hu Shuiyan, a wealthy businessman from Hangzhou. Hu originally made his fortune as a banker, but expanded his business later on. He built a house that is on par with the finest palaces in China. It was built in 1872 and is located a short distance from Westlake. Included in the compound are extensive garden areas, a huge complex of artificial caves, elevated rock walkways, and 13 buildings to house his wife, mother, and 12 concubines. You will notice the incredible attention to details in the materials he used to build the houses and gardens and the shapes of the doorways and pass-throughs. The house complex was like a labyrinth, and we got lost many times. It was really easy to get disoriented. But this is definitely a place to visit. Make sure you hire a guide, visit on a weekday, and allow between one and a half to two hours for the full experience. <laughs> 